703 right now. It is now day 11 of the TMT construction clash. And although there's been no new developments in negotiations, we do know about the future of other telescopes on the mountain. Jen Boniza is on Mauna Kea and joins us now with the very latest. Morning, Jen. Aloha, Ross and Christine. I'm here at the base of Mauna Kea near the Pu'uhonua or Pu'uhuluhulu. That, of course, is ground zero for the Ku Kia'i Mauna movement, where protectors continue to stand against the construction of the 30 meter telescope being built on the summit of Mauna Kea. Now, I've spoken numerous times to the Kia'i over the last 11 days, and they have continued to say that they are not anti science. They're not even against the TMT. They just don't want it here. And there is an alternate location for the TMT. So yesterday I sat down with Doug Simons. He's the director at the Canada France Hawaii Observatories and he told me how the Canary Islands, which is that potential alternate location, stacks up against Mauna Kea. Something that I think is easy to compare to when you're at the protest site right now, um, that is the elevation of where TMT would go if it were built in the Canary Islands. Right, so it's about 6,000 feet tall. And then look up at Mauna Kea from the protest site, and that dramatically shows you the difference in those two sites. It's much higher. The air is much more pristine or as opposed to the Canary Islands where they have the Sahara Desert and dust and what have you. Now, we've also talked about decommissioning. There are currently two telescopes that are in the process of being decommissioned. That, of course, is part of the contract, the agreement to have TMT built up there. It's the CSO and the Hawaii Hoku Observatories that are the ones that are going to be taken down. I'm told that process, the physical part of it is actually the easy part. It's the permitting part that could potentially take years. And because it's never been done before, there is a learning curve. So, Doug Simons tells tells me that they are going through this. There's a lot of consultation that is going on, uh, but they are again trying to get those sites to as close as their original state as possible. But it's sur still unsure if that will really even happen. But we will continue to monitor things here. Um, one more thing to note that, you know, these telescopes contribute to groundbreaking research and they are all currently closed. They've been closed for over a week now due to issues regarding safety and access to the summit surrounding the demonstrations here at Mauna Kea. Live from the Big Island, Jen Boniza sending it back to you.